A huge Terry McLaurin injury update. Let's talk about it. After 20 years, you know we back on. No more Snyder, more McLaurin. More full with the passion, you know we scoring. I tell that feel back, let no way it is not boring. John Allen lead the troops, yeah, you know we storming. Burgundy and gold in my veins, yeah, I bleed that. St. Joe saw the ball, grab a pig, yeah, I need that. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about Terry McLaurin and his injury update. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload new content like this to the channel. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Man, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is going to be a hell of a season. It is totally... Totally free to subscribe. If you're a diehard Washington Commanders fan like myself and like others, you have no reason not to be subscribed to the channel. It's totally free. And I'm doing merch giveaway. I'm doing jerseys giveaway, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's a no-brainer, bro. We got a lot in store this year. If I'm you, I'm subscribing to one guy he talking sports. I got a chance to win free merch, so I would do it. Um, with that being said, let's get straight to it. Okay, so yesterday, in the midst of the Washington Commanders. You know, breaking the, the Baltimore Ravens preseason win streak. It came at a cost, okay? It came at a cost as we lost our star wide receiver, Terry McClellan, to an injury. Now, when it first happened, man, I was like, no, God, no, God, no. Like, come on, not Terry, bro. Like, anybody else but Terry McClellan, bro. We need him. Like, I understand we got Han, we got Deami. Okay, we got Kirko, but we cannot, like, afford to lose Terry for a significant amount of time. Like, I understand, like I said, we talented there, but Terry is a, is a beast, man, and we need him, okay? Um, basically, what had happened was, if you didn't catch it live, yesterday, Terry McClellan made a reception, and the guy tackled him from uh, behind, and uh, I guess, like, rolled his foot or something like that. Initially, when I saw Terry get up, I thought it was an ankle, and I'm like, all right, ankle sprain, blah, 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 that's cool, it's going to take about three weeks. Then it came back that he suffered a toe injury, and I'm like, oh, my God, man. No, because I know how treacherous tur uh, turf toe is. And that's when I hear big toe injuries or just toe injuries in general, that's the first thing I hear. Remember, 2020, Antonio Gibson had the toe injury, and he was never the same, bro. He was never the same. And I, I hate to be this this overthinker or this, like, this, this scared person in a sense, but that when I think of turf toe, that's what I think of. Okay, I don't think of a I don't think of it being a mild injury. Like obviously A. G. when he suffered his, he was like it's all about like pain tolerance and stuff like that. And Terry's a dog. Terry is going to find a way to play. Um, you know, but he cause this is the same guy that, that played on two sprain ankles. Like that's not get it twisted. If Terry can find a way to play, he's gonna play. But I would prefer to have Terry McClellan uh healthy, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, trying to cut on, on, on your foot without your big toe being healthy, bro, that, that hurts. Like, literally, your big toe is what balances your whole body. Like, like think about it. That one toe is what keeps up your whole body weight. I know we don't think about stuff like that, but that that's really what it is. So, imagine... You, you you get a I believe essentially what a what a what a turf toe is a sprained big toe or a jammed a big toe, um, in that in that same vicinity. Imagine trying to walk on it. That's painful in itself. But could you imagine being a pro athlete trying to cut, trying to run routes, trying to move on that toe, run on that toe? That is extremely painful. So that was my first initial thought and reaction when I saw this thing, man. I'm like, no, God, no. Like, Terry, man, uh, we need him. And, and, and quickly, before we get into the, the, the diagnosis and stuff like that, um, a lot of people that want to wanna trash Ron Rivera, they want to say Rivera was wrong for leaving him out there. No, no. That, it's not Ron Rivera. It's football. It's football, ladies and gentlemen. It, it could have happened to anybody. It just unfortunately happened to Terry McClellan. Um, so, it's not Ron Rivera's fault. It's not his fault. The whole offense was out there. You know? So I don't want to I don't want to get on Ron Rivera. So basically, and if you see me looking around, I'm trying. I was trying to find my my uh my my notes where I wrote it down. Basically, uh, per Ian Rappaport, 
um, Terry McLaurin had a sprained, uh, you know, a mild sprained toe, you know, and, and um, he, he's considered day to day, and he has a strong chance to play week one, and, and that was just a huge sigh of relief, like, that was just a huge, like, whew. now, I'm still nervous, because, again, it, 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 it it's a toe, all right, it's a toe. One day he could feel good. He gets out there, try to cut on that thing. And then it could be a whole different thing. You know, this is something that can linger. You know, like I said, with, uh, with the ankle sprain, you're good. Okay, after you you heal it, you ice it, you elevate it, you put heat on it for the next couple. And, they, and these are guys that have around the clock treatment. Okay, 24-7, they got treatment at their doorstep. If it was an ankle, it would have been fine with it. But this is a toe. And although it doesn't seem like it's too significant and we dodged a bullet, there's still something that you want to monitor. Okay? Terry's obviously not playing next week. He's not going to practice at all this week if they're having practice. He's not going to practice at all this week, which they clearly are, because um, they had the final preseason game this Saturday. He's not practicing all, all this week. He's not. He's then going to have that break because, you know, instead of it being four preseason games, it's three. So now they get that week off before the week one contest versus the Cardinals. He's not going to practice all that weekend. And honestly, I'm not trying to look, overlook the Cardinals or think they're just this, this trash. But he probably doesn't even need to practice that week. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get to the game and... We're 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 beating them bad, but we can pull them early. Or it even or it's even like Terry. We don't even need you for week one. You could set this one up, but knowing Terry, he's gonna want to play each and every game. So again, like I said, I don't think he's gonna miss time. But again, this is something that you just have to you have to watch, you have to monitor because you never know. Man, can you imagine this offense without Terry McLaurin? I can't, and I don't want to imagine it. Like I said, I, I love Jahan Dawson. Love De'Ami Brown. Love Curtis Samuel. But we need Terry McLaurin, bro. But one thing I will say about this, okay? Unlike past years, as I keep mentioning Jahan and Curtis, unlike past years, when Terry went down, we had nothing else. I mean, we was relying on Dontrell Inman, okay? Antonio Gandy Golden. Love Cam Sims, but Cam Sims is what we were relying on. You know what I'm saying? Kelvin Harmon, Terry goes down. Now we're good. Like we're we we can we can stabilize. We can be the Arizona Cardinal team. We can be the Denver Bronco team. Cause Jahan, in my opinion, is fully capable of being a wide receiver one in this league. A very high two, and I think he has an opportunity to show that he can be a number one. But I feel like, to me personally, he's already proven that to me. He can be a number one on somebody's team. Because so you seen when Terry went went out, Jahan took right over. Jahan took right over. So, as as nervous that I am about this Terry injury and as, as grateful as I am that he dodged a bullet, you know what I'm saying? He does not need to be rushed back. Remember, we kept trying to rush Curtis Samuel back that one year. You know, we, we, we kind of mishandled, you know, the Cole Holcomb injury situation. You know, um, um, you know, Chase Young, we kind of mishandled him because we wanted him to come back and he wasn't ready. Like, we've mishandled injuries in the past. And we don't need to do this with Terry McClellan. He can rest. Like, really, like, honestly, and I don't want to just look deep into it because I, I think he's going to be fine. But we probably don't need him for the first two weeks. And I'm just erring on the side of precaution. I'm erring on the side of precaution. But knowing Turing, knowing the kind of beast he is, knowing his drive, knowing his work ethic, he's going to want to be out there for week one. And I'm not going to be surprised if he's out there week one and he's like, hey, I'm fine. I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Just just, just, just ice that toe. Heat that toe. Elevate that toe, man. It should be good. And, and, and again, like I said, don't hate Ron Rivera, bro. Please. Because it could have happened to anybody. I don't hate the Ravens defender. He was just trying to make a play. It's just unfortunate. It's football. It happens. Any sport, it happens. It's going to happen, bro. You can wake up tomorrow and, and, and you know, something's going to happen. You know, thing, it just happens. Life. You can't control it. So, I've seen a lot of people been frustrated at Ron Rivera for it. Like, obviously, hindsight, you look back on it. You don't want Terry out there. You know what I'm saying? But who's thinking about him being getting hurt when he's making great receptions? The offense is clicking. You know? Like... Yes, we won the preseason game, but at what cost, right? I get that. You know what I'm saying? I would much rather have 
Terry McLaurin healthy than us ending the Ravens streak. But again, it's football. It's football. It could have happened to anybody. Just unfortunately, it happened to us. So, according to Ian Rappaport, Terry McLaurin's day-to-day with the toe injury, toe sprain, mild toe sprain. Um, he, 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 he should be good. Okay? But again, you never know. This is something that could potentially linger throughout the year. So, hopefully, we're, 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 we're very careful with how we assess Terry McLaurin. Again, don't expect on to practice this week. Don't expect on to practice next week. And then even the week of the Arizona game, I wouldn't force him to practice either. I would probably put Terry on ice until maybe that Friday to see how he's doing. Feel how does he feel through, about walkthroughs? And then Terry McLaurin comes out, you know, maybe earlier than the rest of the team. You know, week one is to test that to test that toe. You know, go through a pregame workout to you know maybe be see if, he, if he's ready. Maybe he's a GTD. You know, and, and I'm and I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead, but we're we're about three weeks away from week one, so it's not that far, but it is a, a ways away. You feel me? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, don't stress out. And this is what we needed, cause last night I was stressing. I was stressing last night when I saw Terry get up. He was like, Urgh. I was like, oh my god, not Terry, bro. Like again, anybody else but one seven, please. So this is what we needed to calm our nerves. My blood pressure and my my heart rate, my heartbeat, whatever, went from up here, it's a down here. Like it's still it's still pumping a little bit because Terry he still has a sprain, and he's still not out the clear. But it came from up there to down here when I saw that he's day to day. Okay, we good. Terry just got to rest that thing, and he should be prepared for week one. If not, you don't got to rush him back for Arizona. Trust me, you don't have to rush him back for Arizona. If he has to sit out for AZ, I'm good because I still fully expect us to win that game. Still fully expect him to win that game. Now, it, the only thing is, I expect Terry to have a huge year. And if he has to miss time with this injury, that's going to affect his stats later in the season. But who's thinking about that when we're winning games, okay? I would much rather have Terry McClellan sit out and be healthy than, than to me as a fan just worry about his, his solo stats and trying to compare him to top five receivers and stuff like that because I want him to be a top five receiver because I think he has the potential to. I'd much rather have him healthy and us win games as a team than, you know, focusing solely on Terry's uh, solo stats. So with that being said again, Terry McClellan, one final time per Ian Rappaport, is day-to-day with a toe sprain. He should be good. Just monitoring it. Just put it on ice. Just elevate it. Just heat it. Do all the right things you need to do with his toe. And Terry should be good to go. So with that being said, it's me and boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hail to the watch, then command us. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a huge year for our watch, Nick Commanders. So if you're a diehard watch, Nick Commanders fan, you have no excuse to not be subscribed to a free YouTube channel to get all your watch, Nick Commanders news and updates. And I'm about to do a merch giveaway and a jersey giveaway. So Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Once we hit 6,000 subscribers, it's going to be the merch giveaway and a lot of other stuff in store. So hit that subscribe button. Like this video. See y'all next time. It's me, boy, one guy. Mom. Peace.